last week on Von Hala Adventures. We have about 14 miles to go today. Going straight up. I can definitely feel my ass. <sighs> A bit rocky. I would highly suggest trekking poles. Whoa. Well, maybe I should have kept my boots on. It rained a lot last night. I don't feel great about this. Training was so worth it. This is supposed to be the hardest section of this entire trek. After enduring some tiring obstacles and pushing ourselves to the limits last week, we are determined to complete this demanding leg of our trek. Throughout this sometimes grueling adventure, we have not only overcome mental and physical challenges, but we're also beginning to discover invaluable lessons and gain a fresh perspective on the profound wisdom this experience has to offer. All right. This week, join us as we continue to make our way across this incredible country and celebrate our accomplishments. And we learned a lot. We're Brian and Crystal, and this is Valhalla Adventures. Obviously made it to the inverse night bunk house. <laughs> Brian and I were pretty crabby last night when we got here. Not really excited to be walking right now. I would never book this place. A mile straight up after we were done. I think we're just so exhausted. That was a very long day. We got here right before check-in. I've never gotten to a place that late. It was after 9 p.m. when we got here. Thankfully, they made us a dinner. They said they pretty much always keep the kitchen open like last minute because they had already closed the kitchen but they made us this amazing meal it was so good i remember hearing the food was great and it is it's amazing So rejuvenated, relaxed, and uh, ready to go. Me too. <laughs> I'm excited to walk again today. Today is supposed to be the hardest portion of this, and I'm feeling good about it because we only have about an eight mile day today. Yeah, it's kind of one of the shortest walks. Yeah, so we're not doing like 14 miles like we did that other day. <laughs> but eight miles so that feels really good and we have a packed lunch and everybody was so nice at the bunkhouse they yeah. were just so nice and watch your step here oh okay but we are off oh i think they said we could go down that trail right there but really? whatever yeah that's what it said yeah it says we can cut across here and go down and then we join up with the west highland way or we can take the road what's the this way. It doesn't specify. Want to try this? Okay. Let's try it. It's not the trail we're on, but we're going on a different trail. Well, it says you can do it here. Yeah, look at it. it says like you well, can cut across. What if you walk down the road? What do you do? It's the same, but we're just going to meet up with it. But we're going to take the path instead of going down on the road. I think we should take the road. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Taking the road. Look what we have here. Okay. Go, B. 
Right. Yeah. I feel like this trail is consistently inconsistent. <laughs> yeah, I agree. I don't know about Crystal, but I'm feeling pretty off today. I'm just like done with this trail, just staring at roots and rocks and mud. And for the last two days, it seems like I just want to get this one over with. It's kind of mentally challenging for me today. I don't know why, but. Okay, one of the things I actually really like about this section, even though it's the most difficult, there's always a shoreline. So you always have a place to rest if you want. Pretty much, I would say 95% of the time. And there's plenty of areas to load up on water if you bring a water filter. There's so many creeks and waterfalls. Well, the midges are officially out. I put some spray on. Brian's looking stylish. Yeah. Look at B. I don't like that thing very much, so I'm not gonna wear it unless I have to. After I put the spray on the rest of my body, I kind of patted my face a little bit. So far, so good. As long as we keep moving and we don't stop, it's fine. Oh, man. <laughs> I feel like we're finally getting a breath of fresh air. This feels good to just be out in the open. Wow. on the lake. We just finished the lock here at B. Did you hear that? Ooh, yeah. Uh, ready to get off this lock. Feels good. <laughs> yeah. It's been like the same day every day, seems like, for the last three days. It's time for uh, new scenery. I think B didn't really, he didn't really enjoy that part, did you? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, today. Oh, it's starting to rain. The weather just constantly changes. Yeah. Sunny, cloudy, kind of warm, cold. Extreme winds, uh, rain, just at any given moment. Yeah, we're really, I feel like I'm really thankful for the rain that we have had. It's just a drizzle. Yeah. Never enough. I haven't ever had to put on my raincoat. I don't really mind getting wet since we're from the, I grew up in the Pacific Northwest, so a little rain is a, not a big deal. Even a little bit of a downpour, I'm generally okay. Ah, but it does feel good to be done with that lock. I feel very accomplished. One last climb for this section. Ooh, I think we go Whoop. up there. Ready, B? Yeah, that's good. Okay. Oh my gosh. We're at the top of the hill, and there's two, I don't know what the correct word for them would be in, in Scotland, but they're mountain goats, and they're huge horns. They're so beautiful. There's Brian. They're like right over here. This is incredible. I wonder if there's any more.
Hey, B. Yeah. I love you. Huh? I love you. I love you. I love you more. Pasito. <laughs> Create a homestead the old fashioned way. Stone house, whole thing, off grid. It's so beautiful. Ah, see, we're so close. Ah, cool place. Yeah, this is cool. Yeah. Ah, these little cabins are cute. So I was going to book us in here originally. But the bookings, I can't remember. It was either full or hadn't opened yet. They opened quite late, but look at how cute these cabins are. They're adorable. Those tiny little doors are. I know. Little hobbit houses. Yeah, Ooh, my feet. I'm definitely feeling my feet right now. This is a sweet little camping site. If we were camping, I would totally stay here. I think I had a pretty quiet day. We didn't really even talk that much to each other, but it was really nice. It was just a really reflective day, but what I was thinking is this whole section that we've been doing for the past three days, it really was a good lesson of life in general. Because I was thinking it was this whole, it's kind of like the path right in front of us. It was just like, ugh. and we had to be very, so mentally present and slippery and rocky and just not our favorite, I would say. Like if I knew that this was a whole entire time, I probably wouldn't have done it. Yet at the same time, it was absolutely beautiful. If you looked, instead of just focusing what was in front of us, if we just looked to the left and just looked at the lock and the mountains, and the hills, and the trees, and the birds singing. There was so much beauty. It kind of reminded me how sometimes if you look only what's right in front of you, you can get caught up in your own stuff. And so I think you can hold those two parts of going, yeah, I don't, I'm not really into whatever this is that's maybe going on in life. And I can also notice the beauty too. You don't have to disregard either. You can be noticing of both. So that was my reflection from this entire section. I was just like, ah, oh, it feels really accomplished, really good, and we learned a lot, you know? And I think it also helped us just kind of go, this is actually really awesome. We signed up for this, we chose this, and to be in self-responsibility, so. But I'm really happy we did it, and I feel very accomplished. I think B does too. So I booked us into a pretty historical place tonight. Oh, yeah. There's a sign. It says it's been here. Okay, so the Drover's Inn. I don't know if I'm saying that correctly, but it's been here since 1705. Wow. This pub where you eat is supposedly amazing food. They have vegetarian and vegan options. Every place has though, and gluten-free options. It's supposed to be like really just like that old school pub feel, just really kind of moody with like stone walls apparently. I don't want to hype it too much up, but... Nice 
we can hang some stuff up. Oh. This is cool. Yeah. Check out the bathroom. Oh, cool. We have our own bathroom. <laughs> Yay, our own bathroom. Yeah. Yay. Feels good to be done with this section, eh? Yeah. Feel very accomplished. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> the tiny little bed. Tiny little bed. It's okay. We actually have two beds. We haven't slept in the same bed in several days. Four days now. Almost the whole entire time we've been on this. It's a 10 day hike and four of those nights are, are in different beds. It's very strange. But that's the way it went down. So That's the way the, the, the ball <laughs> bounces. Yeah. I'm so glad this section is complete. I feel very accomplished. Yeah, me too. That was, a, that was tough, man. That was, that was a tough one. Yeah, I get what people are saying now because <laughs> when I looked online when I was planning this for us, people had said, because it doesn't look like there's any elevation really at all, so it was kind of like, how hard could a walk around a, a lock be? But was... then you do it and it's, it's, it's draining. Yeah, it's draining. Yeah. I would say a little bit, but I'm really happy. Like, I feel very, like, we stuck it out. Yeah, I feel great. I mean, we did it. We did yeah. it. We got a little sour at a couple parts. I think we need an attitude check. Any reflections you want to share before we close this out? I just feel very accomplished and feel great that we did that. Okay, yeah. well, there's that, you guys. Yeah. Thanks for joining us on this journey. We will see you next week as we continue on the way. Yeah.